Namaste. <clears throat> well, you wanted to see me without a filter? Here it goes. It's a mess. It's a mess over here. Well, anyhow, the sun is in my eyes. And I just stopped off to get myself a little ice cream. I know what you're thinking. You don't need that ice cream. Uh, but I did. I do need it. I do. Okay. Um, anyhow, you're lucky it's not a banana split. Ah. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Maybe I won't post this. Yeah, I know. I lost my other earring because it didn't have a post on it and I insisted on putting it in. Mmm. Want some? Vanilla cone. It's like taking a bite at, at America. in the summer. meant to do an unboxing. I got a present. <clears throat> it's at home. When I did my two videos earlier today, um, and if you didn't see them, please go on to them. And please always give me comments. Somebody was really mean to me. Uh, and I tried to hide them from the user. And then I might block them if I see them again. First of all, they told me to get out of Texas. They said something else about Munchausen is, by proxies, is very hard to diagnose. But she was not diagnosed with it. So, those of you who know, you know. But anyhow, I don't take any mean talk or mean things in the comments. If you say something mean, I'm usually not going to say anything back to you. I'm just going to block you. Okay, so be nice. Otherwise, I'm not going to share my ice cream with you. Maybe I'll do a card after this. Or maybe not. Yeah, what I was going to say is <clears throat> if you follow me on TikTok or just regular YouTube, please, please, please put a comment in about what I said. Whatever I said, please put a comment in. Okay? It just helps the algorithm because, and please make sure that you're subscribed. Guess what? Only 70% people are subscribed to my YouTube channel. All right? After all these years, please, I don't know, you who, YouTube, you know, doesn't like me on the algorithm or people left me, please make sure that you're subscribed. If you're not, just unsubscribe, resubscribe, make sure you push the button. That's all I ask. Please. I do. I put a lot of content out. Lately, I've only been getting like 30 views, 25 views. There's something wrong. Um, 60 views, maybe. And it's just like I do. I have on my table the whole Gypsy Rose um, rest of the reading. Um, I'll probably do it as a video. <clears throat> only because I get so distracted. Um, but the, here's the problem. If I do it as a video, it's probably not going to get that many um, looked at that much. That's why I've been doing it on TikTok, then switching it over to YouTube. Not that I have a lot of subscribers on TikTok. I don't. Nobody knows who I am. Okay. Um, but on YouTube, you know, I expect my YouTube following 
to um, always be, you know, my channel is for free. So just please give me a, a comment about whatever I s talked about. Um, I don't mind if you want to tell me my, you like my earrings or my hair. Well, you don't like the filter. I got a lot of those messages. So message received. <clears throat> I was just playing around with them. I have a real face. The filters do nothing for my double chin. <laughs> if you find the filter that does something for your double chin, let me know. For my double chin. And I know some of it, somebody out there was like, uh, don't eat that. <laughs> but I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it because I'm alive. I finished some more painting today. So that always makes me happier. Last night I only shellacked one thing. And I was watching, you know, the aftermath of what happened to um, uh, former President Trump. And I just was all, a, I was a wreck. I was a wreck last night. I'd be like that for anybody, any president. Because um, it just means that the world is a scary place. A 20 year old person could climb up on a roof and just try to take out and took out tried to take out the president first of all he did get hit it was a miracle that he turned his head and one second I just don't want you to see me spill this I have something to say and then I'll end this <clears throat> that was awkward, right? <laughs> Alright, so what I want to say in closing sorry about that, you had to wait for me I'm in a bad light, let me move hold on a second guys hold on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My car, a million cars come in. There's hardly any places to go that is uh, shady. Shady Brady. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. This was a gift. Oh. That's... Guys, this is a gift. Right here is a gift. Because this, for some reason, it's shady right here. Okay, so. Somebody in my comments, um, maybe a couple of people. I'm not sure if it was on TikTok or on uh, YouTube. And if I don't answer your comment or put a heart, it, it's like I didn't get to it yet. Not that I get that many comments, trust and believe. But 
Um, I got just recently when I was in the analytics, I recently got comments from three years ago, three years ago, Suzanne Morphew case, uh, some of Utah, some of Moon Utah Wells case, um, you know, Michael Joseph Vaughn, um, Maya M Mialete, Mialete, okay? These, these are all cases from years ago, and I never saw the comments. So I am so sorry if you like, hey, I gave her a comment, and she never even, I poured my heart out, and she never even commented back or gave me a heart. That's because I did not see it. I don't know what is going on. Maybe it's because I make a lot of videos, and they hold the comments sometimes. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I'm like, please comment more. Um because it helps me with the algorithm. See how tired I look um, <clears throat> with no makeup on, anyhow, or filter. So what I wanted to say is somebody was like, oh, you know, Trump never listens to anything. And even when he got, you know, shot on the side of the ear and the, um, the you know, the, what is that called? The staff that protects him. Secret Service. Secret Service jumped on him and had to make a huddle. Even then, he was trying to, uh, you know, put his left hand up and, you know, or right hand up, whatever it is, and, and say, fight, fight. And he, he could have got killed by doing that. He could have got... Let me tell you something about Donald J. Trump. Donald John Trump. He did it, yeah. Is he a person in his ego? Yes, he is. But is can anybody else stand up and say they are a perfect person out there? I can't. I can't stand up. You won't see me stand up. Okay, um, but he did that because everybody thought he was dead, including this dude. I'm standing up. I did a little video where uh, I talked about this. Um, don't worry, it's only 10 minutes. Uh, I'm standing up by the TV. I jumped off, off the couch and I was standing up by the TV and Devin tells me to sit down. And I said, no, I'm not sitting down. And Devin's like this with his little, you know, playing his game, thinking nothing. Oh, you know, he just knocked a bug away. And I go, no, something's happening. Something's happening. And I, I'm usually not, because living in New York, being at um, my school, my first week of school as a full-time teacher, uh, when 9-11 happened, uh, being in a different borough in Brooklyn when um, 2012 happened and getting caught in four feet of water. Um, and I don't understand how to get to Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm really bad with directions. Anyhow, <coughs> I lived through a lot of things. Um, but, and so I don't usually, you know, and then how many hurricanes and tornadoes here? Um, thank God, you know, knock on wood that they haven't been that, that bad. But um, I just had horrible feeling because he went like this as if like he was trying to get a gnat and then all of a sudden more shots came out and he went boom and he didn't come back up. When he didn't come back up, it was like somebody was holding my heart like this, just like if it was any other president, if it was uh, Obama, if it was Biden, if it was a, a vice president, Harris, anybody. I, I was like, oh my gosh, the person just got shot like Ronald Reagan. But even Ronald Reagan, he got shot and he was waving to people. He wanted people to know, I'm okay, I'm not dead, where James Brady, didn't James Brady um, was the secretary of Reagan? I'm not sure. I was young then, okay? Um, 1980, 81. I was like 17, 18. Um, but anyhow, I still knew it happened and it was like shocking and I remember my mother's face. She loved her Reagan. She loved Reagan. She also loved Nixon and she also loved Kennedy. Okay, so whatever. You know, we love our presidents and we have respect for them, even though we might not agree with everything that they do. Um, but when he went down and he didn't come back up, 
Okay, I'm like, oh my God, he, he was like, I really wanted to hear his speech. Like, you know, he's very jokey. I'm like that too. He's, you know, he mixes. Sometimes I don't like, that, you know, I don't like people putting people down. I don't like that part. I don't like that. You know, I'm not about that. But I was looking forward to listening to what he had to say because he hadn't been out in a while. I hadn't seen him. But the reason why he did the fist thing is because he came there. He knew all these people. Some people slept over so they could get a spot. Some people were there for six hours, seven hours, eight hours. Some people were there the day before, the night before. And he only got six minutes in of his speech. He really wanted to give that speech for the people that have supported him through thick and thin, through good times and mostly bad times. He did that. It didn't mean he wasn't hurt. He wasn't going to cry and shed tears in front of people. If you looked at his face, like I go up to the TV, and plus I took pictures, but I don't want to put them up. There's a plenty of people that put pictures up and videos up, things like that. Long story short, he did the, th the fist bump, yeah, he, he was taking the chance, but he had to do it because he wanted to tell his people that came there for him, that were watching from their living rooms, that were watching from work, that were watching from the stands. And he knew something happened because people were screaming. So he probably had an inkling that somebody else got hurt and somebody else might have gotten killed. Okay. So he did the fist to let people know, I'm all right. We're going to be all right. All right. He didn't do it so that he could put everybody else in danger again or put himself in danger. It wasn't the smartest thing. No, it's not the smartest thing, but that is him. He's letting people say, okay, I'm all right. You know, like when you fall down, but then you get up again and then you go, I'm all right. And everybody claps. That's, he was doing it for them. He was holding in his pain and that he, probably will never show to the people okay but you know the amount of, of ringing that he's gonna have in his ear and pain and throbbing and he doesn't take a pill he will have that but you know what he'll work through it because why he wants to ruin he wants to ruin the country he wants to ruin his life no he wants to help fix the country okay so whether you believe that or not he doesn't take a dime. He has spent loads of his money. Okay. A lot of people, uh, I heard somebody talking about him that, oh, he got his money from his father. He got some money from his father. But if you ever read any of his books or watched any of the documentaries, um, his father did because I, I know what about his father's money. Because my father, my parents got divorced. My father lived in different apartments. Um, after he had to move out of the house and then he settled into an apartment building called Tyson's Apartments and they were owned by Trump's father and every time my father had to give in his rent um, he would say go put this in the mailbox at ah, effing Trump he hated him but anyhow I know you probably can't see me because my phone is going dead but that's why he did the arm thing because he wanted people to know I'm okay they didn't kill me okay and then he got into the van and and did what they told him to do and he walked himself in the hospital and he walked out of the hospital so he's just you know you might think he's stupid but he's a very brave man